Now in the tutorial, I've given you a number of activities to prepare for so that we can discuss these. Um, don't spend too much time on any one. Some of them you can get very involved with. The idea is to become familiar with them and just see the potential of them and think about how they would be used in classrooms. So the first couple of activities are around using spreadsheets and simple databases and then using some uh, geospatial tools to look at how we can place information onto a map and also looking at how we can analyze some of the data such as baby names and identify patterns from that data so we can start thinking about the implications of that around data security so even naming a child some a particular name gives someone information about potentially when that child was born so a range of different things that Understanding that data can be interpreted in many different ways and we can get a lot of information about data. But there's also some really good collections of data. Um, and more and more governments and businesses are now making data freely available. And students can then utilise those data sets to create solutions to problems. So I'd like you to explore the Gold Coast City database. Brisbane City also has one. Um, most of the cities now do. Um, the Australian Bureau Australian data sets and also the Google data set search just to see the sorts of data sets that are available and try downloading one or two and put it into a spreadsheet if it doesn't have that as part of the interface online and seeing how students might be able to then utilize that data set to create an app or a website or utilize in some way to solve various problems. Then, of course, we need to explore some aspects of data security um, around the complexity of passwords and how easy it is to break certain passwords using decryption uh, tools. Um, the idea of using encryption and decryption and just do a quick activity where you can see how the process of using different ciphers can be used to encrypt and decrypt messages. And then just have a little look at the apply magic source um, service where you can actually add your Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn um, data and it will give you a full analysis of the sort of information that can be gained from that data about how companies and advertisers and most importantly some electional electro, election processes utilize that data and it became very controversial in the US and in the UK where that data was used to manipulate various election results, potentially. Um, but this data has a lot of uses and many of those uses are still being explored. And the data is being collected often without us fully realising the potential implications of that. And that's why these tools exist to help us understand those implications. I look forward to discussing all of these issues and these various contexts and technologies that we utilize in teaching digital technologies in the tutorials.